Peace Root Folk. It's your friendly neighborhood urban shaman here. Just want to get you caught up. <laughs> Some lessons I've learned lately. Uh, last Saturday, um, actually this past Saturday, I believe it was, um, I went to uh, some sort of spiritual circle. So I'm dressed in all my white, you know, got back late because, you know, them things don't end until the spirit leaves, you know. So got back, went downstairs. I had to go to the mountains in the morning and uh, woke up, you know, was in the kitchen. I was like, yo, I need to go outside and uh, get my lunchbox because I'm about to be up in the mountains. Went out there and I realized something was missing. My car. And I'm like, dang. But I had to get to the mountains. But my car was missing. So I caught the popo, you know, and they were just like, gave me the information and gave them the information. They said, all right, we'll talk to you probably in a few weeks. And if we don't call you, it's probably gone. I'm like, whatever, whatever. So I was like, well, I need a ride to get to a carpool to the mountain since I can't drive myself. So everybody at the house was like, what you doing? You can't leave? What you talking about leaving? Your car just got stolen. And I'm like, yeah. But the show must go on, baby. It's like, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, like, you got to keep doing what makes you feel whole. You know what I'm saying? Tragic things that happen, you know, but like when things happen, you got to be able to like decipher. Is this a life stopping um, situation or is this something that you got to give to give to the most high and keep it pushing, you know? And um, as hard as it was, I went up there, you know, I could have stayed home or drove around town and just been upset and in that space. But I'm like, like, now nah, I got to let it flow. Got to let it flow. And I went up there and had a great time, you know, saw all kind of plants that that really spoke to my heart. And um, I just felt like sharing that with y'all that like. Don't let the distractions, you know, stop you from your medicine. Because if you really, if you really want to, if you're really supposed to be there, you'll be there. You know, and um, you got to be, you got to follow through with the commitments. You know, you got to follow through with the things you say you're going to do. I'm tripping because there's some beetle just jumped off my, uh, I don't know if it jumped off my hat or what, but. <laughs> It was huge. It just flew across my house <laughs> just now. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, let it flow continuously through your action. Tell the universe what you want through your actions. Not through just writing it down and focusing on it, but through the way you move in life, you know, because through that action, I'm basically telling the nature like, yo, yo, I'll be I'll be in the mountains, whether you know, my car dies or I'm sick or whatever. I'm going to be up there. And so the universe is like, cool, I'll keep finding new ways for you to get up there. And um, and pushing that story. You know, your story is so important. You know, I call it the coincidence body. You know, there's so many things, people we meet, things we see, and we call it, we think of it like as a coincidence, but it's really your story. You know, it's really your, it's really a bigger aspect of you that that's creating sort of like this give and take. So you put out, you put out what you want. It meets you at a certain level by introducing friends. Um, it introduces places, it introduces family. It introduces situations that are gonna, that can potentially push you farther in that particular direction. That's why it's so important to to choose your friends based upon where you want to be in life, you know? Because they say you know yourself by the people you're closest to. And if this is, if you're the, if you're the main character of this story, 
then you're gonna you need to surround yourself with supporting characters that are gonna move the plot in a way where the movie is in alignment with your purpose you know and so if there's something that you want more than anything if there's something that brings you peace you know like the mountains do for me or like studying herbalism does for me or like being what my children does for me you know um don't let anything come between that you know just handle the business you know let let your guides handle the rest and just keep it pushing because my car came back my car works it came back whoever took it you know perhaps they needed it you know um you know there's always another way to look at things you know like in america we're always like we believe in just shoot them or lock them up you know um, but if if we're all part of this bigger story we have to consider that there may be someone else that needs something that you think is yours. What were the chances that that burglar would find my car? It would be foolish for me not to think that in some way our destinies were linked and that he learned something from me just as much as I learned something from him. Because if that wouldn't have happened, I wouldn't have this story to share right now. And whatever this character um, got, was able to do with this, whether he, you know, I found pacifiers in the car. You know what I'm saying? I found stuff that little kids might use, you know, aside from the monsters drinks and the, you know, trash in the car. Um, but who knows? He could have been taking his mom to work. He could have been, you know, helping his girlfriend uh get a job go to the job interview you know whatever it is you know and um and i wish the best for that person whoever it is i hope they find what they need in life and i hope that you know i help them get one step closer to it you know um not that i want my car stolen <laughs> nobody does but it's how you frame things that kind of will you know decide if you're going to be stressed or not <laughs> like should i just sit back in my i don't trust anybody or no i adapt i adapt you know i adapt by saying okay you got me haha -ha, hope you got what you needed and uh and now i have a steering wheel lock <laughs> i make sure all my doors are locked now and you know maybe maybe this is the universe also telling me hey man step up your security you know, sometimes we get too caught up in the in this universe is going to protect me sort of thing. And that's not always the healthiest way to move through life either, because there's a safe way to. To move through all spaces, even in spiritual circles, before you do healing, every culture has spiritual medicines that they place on themselves or different rituals they do to protect themselves before they go and heal people or get rid of demons, get rid of illness, okay? Some people tie tie uh tie things around their belly button or put a coin in their put a coin on their belly button and tie it there, fasten it. You know, people put white on their head or different colors on their head. People wear amulets, people do prayers and things like that. So why wouldn't there be an earthly equivalent to that? Locking my door you know, maybe adding a little steering wheel lock, making sure the doors are locked at night, you know, things like that. It's like a ritual that is going to protect me in the long run. So that's the other side of it. You know what I mean? There's so many ways to look at this thing. This thing is deep, you know, and uh, in the long run, I'm blessed that nothing very, very important to me was taken in the car. Um, and... That's another lesson I learned is not to treat my car like my second house. <laughs> you know, you know, there's a proper place for things. And so anyway, this is just a check in. I just wanted to say thank you guys for for being here and that I got more material coming for you. Talk to you soon.